Hi everyone, welcome back to Bloomars Tutorials. Today we're going to be learning about our new camera movement options. First of all, just to give you a refresher for our old camera options, right clicking and dragging your mouse was used to pan the scene with your camera, and left clicking and dragging your mouse didn't have an effect on the camera. Now, with our new update, if you right click and drag your mouse, this will pan the screen, but the camera will always stay behind your avatar. If you left click and drag your mouse, this pans the screen and turns the camera completely around your avatar. In the regular camera mode, you still zoom in and out with the scroll button on your mouse, or you can use the camera button on your user interface. This has not changed. In addition to improvements to our regular camera movement options, we now have an entirely new camera system that allows you to detach the camera from your avatar. This is going to be a lot better for checking out your outfit or someone else's outfit, taking pictures or machinima, or just getting a better look at the beautiful scenery around you. To access this new camera option, you need to press Alt at the same time as you use your mouse in any of the ways I am about to describe. To set the new focal point for your camera to do a push in or pull out shot with the camera, press Alt and left click. That sets the focal point of the camera, so instead of the camera moving in and out in relation to your avatar, it will move in and out in relation to the point where you left clicked. Move your mouse forward or backward while holding Alt and left clicking to push in or pull out with the camera. To set the focal point to zoom your camera in and out, press Alt and right click. That sets the focal point of the camera, so instead of zooming in and out in relation to your avatar, the camera will zoom in and out in relation to the point where you right clicked. Move your mouse forward or backward while holding Alt and right clicking to zoom in or out. Pressing Alt and moving your mouse without clicking will allow you to pan left and right and tilt the camera up and down from the stationary position of your last mouse click. In addition to push in shots, pull out shots and zooming, you are also going to be able to pan the scene a whole lot better. If you hit Alt and left click and move your mouse left or right, you can slide through the scene left or right. Now this is neat. You can use our new camera to do glam cam shots of yourself, so you'll actually be able to see your entire outfit, or someone else's entire outfit now, instead of just the view you could get by pivoting your camera while it was attached to your avatar. To do this, hold down the Alt key and hold down both the left and right mouse buttons. Move your mouse forward to move your camera higher, or backward to move your camera lower. You can get a nice smooth up and down shot, you can zoom in a little bit holding your right mouse button and pan up and down. This doesn't need to only be used for close-ups, because you can go up and down, you can use this feature to take wide landscape shots from high up or down low. Another neat thing about the new controls is that you can use them to maneuver the camera to wherever you want, and as soon as you let go of the Alt key, that is where your camera is going to stay until the next time you press Alt and click to move the camera. Once you have the camera set where you want it and let go of the Alt key, you can still pan the camera view by right clicking and dragging, but the actual camera won't move again until you hit the Alt key. Now, with all the new camera movements, panning and sliding and zooming, it's important to know how to exit this new camera mode and get back to regular camera mode. To exit advanced camera mode, all you need to do is press escape and you'll snap right back into regular camera mode with your avatar as the focal point of the camera. So there you have it folks, our new camera features. It might take a little time to adjust, but I promise you the added functionality is well worth it. Thanks for tuning in to this Blue Mars tutorial. For more information and other tutorials, please visit www.bluemars.com.